Have you ever wondered why some freelance writers strive while others struggle to hit their goals? Even though there is a common desire for success in the freelancing world, many people seem to not be able to do the things they know they should be doing. And it's not their fault because they haven't established the things that they need to do every single day to move themselves forward. And as a result of this, they keep doing irrelevant things that don't push them forward. In this video, I'm going to speak to you about the daily levers and how these can help you hit the success you're after in the freelancing world. Let's start by saying that the allure of freelancing is there. Many people would love to have the financial stability, the ability to work where they want, how much they want, and with the clients that they want. However, what many don't think about is the ability that they will have ups and downs, that they will have to strive to get more clients. So there's a lot of challenges that people don't really think about until they find themselves in the action. Even worse, many people want to have multiple clients, but they don't understand that having multiple clients also means juggling a lot of things happening at the same time. It means dealing with multiple people and things don't always go according to plan. So you need to be adaptable in many of these situations. But having a structured approach to daily tasks means that you are all over the place very quickly. You also get missed deadlines, you end up having a poor work-life balance, and you might end up deciding that freelancing is not for you. By having these daily levers in your workday, you move the business forward. Because even if you're not sure what steps to take, by implementing these things in your business, you do the actions that will actually move you forward. In a way, it's like you're switching off your brain, and you're just doing the actions that need doing. So let's speak about daily levers in more detail. The way I see it, daily levers are the things that contribute to your career advancement, whether it's networking, continuous learning, or even client management. These are the things that, depending on your business, will be the things that you must do. There is no other choice. If you don't do these things, your business will fall behind. Your business will eventually die. The thing is that when you do these things as a freelancer, let's say you do skills development. So you spend time, maybe you spend an hour a day working on developing your skills. You take courses, you read blog posts and watch videos from people that you admire, that are ahead of you and have achieved what you want to achieve. By doing these things, it makes it easier to move into higher paying niches. And this is always a great thing. However, it doesn't happen by accident. So how do you actually identify what these daily levers should be like in your business? The thing you must do is look at the highest ROI activities. For me, as a writer, writing is a very important thing. It's something that I must do every day for my business to move forward. And it's also something that my income is literally directly related to. If I don't write, my business will fall behind. That means that every day I must set time where I sit down and actually create content. And in my case, it is in the form of blog posts, in the form of Twitter posts, in the form of video content that I eventually record. Content is at the foundation of a freelance writing business. The same thing is client acquisition. If you're not constantly finding new clients, eventually you're relying on one or two big clients. There's nothing wrong with that. However, it's also something to be aware. If one of your big client doesn't work with you anymore for whatever reason, your income could be at risk. Having a backup of clients, having systems in place that allow you to find more clients is always a good idea. Now the challenge is identifying which are the high impact and the low impact tasks. If you are creating blog content, for example, and you have a client that pays peanuts and another that pays a good rate per word or per project, then the client that pays the most is obviously a high impact client, which means that you should prioritize the work that you do for that client. In many cases, it's not as clear cut. It's not always the case that you can compare apples to apples. Most of the time it's comparing apples to oranges. So you need to get clear on what actually is a high return on investment activity. Then what you do is either you remove the activities that aren't part of this high ROI activity list, or you outsource it to people that can do a better job and ideally at a lower rate. So if your writing currently gives you, let's say $100 an hour, and you can find someone that does it for 50, it is a good idea to outsource this to that person so you get more time and you're also profiting from that. 
Also, as you're doing this exercise to identify what your daily levers should be, you should prioritize the high income activities as well. So even though two activities might both fall within the high ROI activities, there's always a priority that you can assign to them. And being clear on this priority will also help you to decide what things to do first and what things are maybe not as important as you might have thought. Now, let's say you've come up with the list of things to do. You've come up with the list of things to outsource and it's the next day. You have your list in front of you. Now it's actually time to do the work. So in this case, you find the time which you have assigned before already. You've blocked it in your calendar and that is holy time. That is the time when no one can interrupt you. It's like you're literally unavailable to other people in that time because it is the time that will actually move your business forward. In that time, you are consistent. So there are no distractions. There's no phone. There's nothing that can distract you from actually doing the work. This is your routine and you must protect it at all costs. In this time of deep work, you work on the high impact tasks. In my case, this is the time when I work on my writing. These are my writing hours where I get things done and nothing else will take that focus away from that moment. And when you're clear on what you actually need to do, procrastination doesn't really come into the picture because this is a big thing for people. I believe that when you're unclear on what to do, you start labeling things as procrastination or I don't know what to do. However, when you've set your long-term goals and you have the short-term activities that you know you must do to hit those long-term goals, that is when there's no procrastination. There's just taking the actions that you need to take. You can also implement things like habit stacking, where you're introducing new habits and attaching them to current ones. So if you currently do something every single day, you start assigning things to go with that. So let's say that every morning I have my breakfast at 11 a.m. I don't generally have an early breakfast. And I know that before I have my breakfast, I need to do a few things that are non-negotiable. It also means that I won't have my breakfast until I get those things done. In a way, I'm incentivized to get those things done because if not, I know I'm not going to have my breakfast. It pays off to stick to that commitment you make to yourself because in the long term, you will attach the doing the things before the breakfast and they become habits in and of themselves. So what does that mean in the long term impact that these activities have on your business? Having daily levers means more financial stability. The thing is that when you do these actions, you get results. At the same time, you can't focus on the results because in a way they are out of your hands. What is in your control and in your hands are the inputs that you do. And over time, you start to learn that when you do certain inputs, you start getting specific outputs. Again, you can't control those outputs, but you can control the inputs that lead to those outputs. And that is where the power of daily levers come into play. And don't forget that there is a compound effect. By having small, consistent effort, you will get a significant outcome over time. Think about your daily levers, come up with a list of them, prioritize them, and do the work. Because over time, that work will get you the results that you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like and subscribe if you did. And check out the link in the description. I have a checklist that will help you get started on your freelancing journey. I'll speak to you soon.